I recently went on holiday to Thailand and although it was amazing to take some time off from my full-time job, I actually still had to work on a short freelancing data analytics project. And that's why I wanted to show you what a day in the life of a remote data analyst looks like in Thailand. If you're new to this channel, I'm Lore and I'm a data analyst based in London. And in this video, I will share exactly what I'm working on and also how much I spent during the whole day so that you can compare it with the cost of living of your country in case you're interested. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, time to rise and shine. Mornings are so much better when you're greeted by the sound of nature and warm weather. I'm currently staying in Phuket, which is in the south of Thailand, and I'm paying the equivalent of $36 per night for this hotel, which has absolutely everything you need for a perfect stay in Southeast Asia, but I will show you more of that in just a second. After dragging myself out of bed, I head straight to the hotel gym to sweat out last night big dinner and also to get the right level of energy I need to start my day. Today I'm doing a full body workout with only dumbbells and body weight exercises. I love body weight exercises because they engage more muscle groups and allow for a greater range of motion. After a protein shake and a quick shower, now it's time to catch some rays and enjoy the sandy shores of Thailand. I hop in the scooter I rented for $5 per day, blast some feel-good tunes, and before I know it, I'm at the beach. I came to this beach club called Catch, and this has great vibe combining sea view, pool, great food and cocktails. Work doesn't stop, even in paradise. So I find a chill spot and get down to business. The team I'm working with for this short data analytics project is in Europe, and so I am six hours ahead. This means that during the mornings, the rest of the team is still sleeping, and so I just quickly check a few emails and messages that came overnight, and also I need to check a few documents that the team sent me regarding the details of what I need to do for this project. So yeah, not exactly the usual holiday time you would expect, but hey, with the sound of waves crashing and a drink on the side is not so bad, right? After a great lunch at the club that I paid $8, back to the hotel for a change of scenery. Now it's time for some deep work. I chose this hotel specifically because it has a very nice co-working space with fast Wi-Fi and passionate people chasing their dreams. Now let me give you a bit more details on the work I'm doing. So the founder of a small company reached out to me because he needed some help as his company is creating a reporting website to track the performance of their clients. I worked with them in the past and this is why he just asked me if I had some spare time for this piece of work and I said that I could squeeze in a few days of work during my holiday. And for anyone here wondering, they initially found me on Upwork, which is a great website if you want to find freelancing opportunities. Anyway, they had a bunch of dashboards built in Tableau and they needed to translate those into SQL queries so that the web developer working on the reporting website could take those queries and embed them in the website to replicate the Tableau charts. This is because Tableau can become quite expensive when you need a lot of licenses, and so they decided to build their own reporting platform to save money. And if this is confusing, I got you because it was also confusing to me. Because usually data analysts need to start from some sort of messy data, find insights and translate those into a dashboard. But actually in this case, my task was the opposite. I already had the insights and charts ready, but I actually had to reverse engineer how those were created in Tableau by another person that left the team. And so what I'm doing is starting with the first chart of the dashboard, find the field in the database that were used to build that chart, make sure the result of the query is matching all the numbers and calculations of the chart, and replicate for all the other elements in the dashboard. This is a bit of a repetitive task, but I actually enjoy a lot working with SQL, and this is a good way to improve my skills while getting paid. When I started this piece of work with my client, I had to set up a new email, a Slack account for messaging, a new Zoom account for calls, and another set of credentials to access the database. All the password management was super easy to handle thanks to NordPass, which is kindly sponsoring this video. NordPass empowers you to consolidate all of your passwords securely within a single app. All of your valuable data is protected by a master password, complemented by the added security of Face ID. 
and this makes sure that only you can access your passwords and sensitive information. But the thing I like the most about this app is the feature called Autofill that takes care of inputting all of your passwords without any effort in whatever website you are browsing. And this is saving me so much time because obviously I don't have to remember those myself. My client was actually super happy to know that all of the passwords they provided me were stored in a secure place. So you know, extra point to show that you are reliable in your work. They are offering you not one, not two, but actually three free months if you use the link in the description. So if you're interested, make sure to check it out. And so after a few hours of deep work, at the golden hour, as the sun starts to set, I take a well-deserved break by the pool of the hotel. Also, I didn't mention that I stay right next to a famous street food market in Phuket, which is the perfect place for the dinner. The sights, the smells, the sizzle of the walks, it's truly a foodie's paradise. Tonight, I'm trying the famous Pad Thai for only $3. I'm now going back to the hotel as I have a few last calls with the team, mainly to talk about my progress of today and the next steps for tomorrow. As this is a very short project that will probably last only three or four days, it is very important to track everything that I'm doing, also because the web developer of the team is waiting for my work to be completed to then finalize the development of the reporting website. And then last thing I do before going to sleep is a call with my parents as I haven't heard from them for quite some time now, mainly because of the time difference. And that's a wrap on my day as a remote data analyst in Thailand. I hope you enjoy following me around and seeing what it's like to work remotely in a beautiful place like this. As you can see, it's definitely possible to combine work and other passions you have in life, as long as you have a good internet connection and willingness to balance your time. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I will leave here in the screen some other videos that you might want to check out and, well, enjoy the rest of your day. Ciao for now and see you in the next one.